Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a new League of Legends video. It's been a while, I know, but, uh, you know, Riot is releasing a new champion. They're releasing trailers and whatnot, and this is a gameplay trailer that just got released, so I figured, I haven't watched it yet. I figured, let's watch it together. Why not? Let's check it out, see what happens, see if we can maybe dissect his abilities at least somewhat. And yeah, let's just jump into it. If you guys are excited, enjoy, whatever, don't forget to hit that like button. Let's just jump right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is incredibly loud. Let me go ahead and lower that ass down. This guy looks pretty sick. I like his weapons. Why is it so loud? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, it shows us his abilities, so we know <laughs> we can figure out what it does, I guess. His Q's are wow, his W's a long cooldown. The dash with the shield is definitely the E, right? For sure. Okay, here we go. Let's... We're gonna rewatch this fight in slow motion later because it's sick. I don't know what the hell he's doing. What the fuck is he doing? Oh, nice dash. Oh, this guy's like a giga tank, man. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little sussy that they're not showing his score. Like, where's the score, bro? Where's the score, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, the animation looks a little jank, but. We're finished here. I mean, no way, right? Wow, oh, he unironically wins this. I mean, I guess the tower is on his side. I mean, to be fair, the Fiora almost destroyed him while the tower was shitting on her. I'm just saying, you know, keep that in mind. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying. Okay, I'll, I'll, I definitely want to look at this fight over here. Was it here? This one. I want to look at this fight in slow motion because I want to just see which abilities he's using when and just kind of what it seems like it's doing. The E seems to be the easiest one so far in the ultimate, obviously. So let's go ahead and watch this in like slow motion and let's see if we can figure out what in the flying F he's actually doing. So let's check it out. So he goes in with his E. So his E dash with an instant shield. His Q is called Natofo Strikes. Tofo? Natofo? Tofo? I don't know. Tofo? So it, it smashes down, and then his W is the charge, it looks like. So the Q smashes down, and then the W right here is the charge. Pathmaker. Where he just, he can charge it and hold it, similar to like, I don't know, Vi Q or some shit. Long cooldown. So it's like Vi Q combined with like old Poppy's E, where you push them, and if you push them into a wall, it seems like it does potentially extra damage, and it looks like it even stuns them. And then that's his ultimate, obviously. His ultimate is kind of weird, like, I don't really understand what he's doing exactly, like... So, he pushes her into the wall, stuns her, and then his ultimate looks like he just dashes to an area, and then maybe anything... Like, I can't tell if it's a target or not, that's the problem. Let me see where his mouse is all the way over here, so it's not a target. So it seems like he just dashes somewhere, and then maybe anything in that dash that he collides with, like enemies rather, he, like, takes him with him. Yeah, so he dashes to that area, anything he hits, kind of like a Yone ultimate almost. He throws them back there as well. He gets there first, and then he like smacks them down. Oh my god, the animation looks a little janky though. So that's essentially his abilities. I mean, that's I mean, okay. We we figured out his abilities. We don't know the exact you know how accurate I am, but I'm I feel like I'm pretty accurate. So it seems like his passive we still have no idea, or at least I don't. His Q ability just seems like a typical like like a Silas Q essentially. His W is seems like essentially like Vi Q combined with like. Uh, you know, old Poppy's E or whoever has like a wall thing. I guess current Poppy's E actually, what am I saying? Even the current Poppy's E. Uh, so current Poppy's E and Vi Q combined together. Um, his E ability seems to be, what was his E ability again? His E ability was like, oh yeah, the dash. So his E ability seems like it's literally just a dash with the shield, which is like pretty simple, pretty basic. And his ultimate is essentially the only ultimate. All right, we figured out his abilities, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. All right, his abilities have been discovered. We know exactly what he does. He seems pretty cool. I don't know. I, I, I like the aesthetic of him. I do think he looks pretty cool. I think his weapons are cool as hell. The abilities seem pretty basic, but sometimes, honestly, 
Champions that seem the most basic can tend to be the most fun. Sometimes champions that are a little bit overcomplicated tend to be like just a little too much, you know, too obnoxious to face. He actually seems like a champion that doesn't seem completely overtuned. He doesn't seem like the champion that just has literally everything imaginable in his kid that's just like insane and you're just wondering like how is this even allowed? He seems like a champion that, you know, seems to be fairly fair to face for the most part at least. He doesn't seem completely like obnoxious to face, which honestly sometimes is a breath of fresh air. So I actually think it's a good thing. I'm personally an edgy you know, motherfuckers, I'm sorry, you know, I, if the champion doesn't have a million dashes and doesn't look like, you know, the edgiest thing in the world, like Zed or Yone, I'm not interested. However, with that being said, I think this is a good breath of fresh air to League of Legends. Just, you know, sometimes just simple is the best way to go. You know what I mean? And I think this is exactly what that is. So we'll see what happens when he's actually out and what not. But other than that, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.